Life by Richard Forty. This is a book about really the rise of life on earth, the rise and variations, the rise of variations of life on earth for the last three billion years or so. This is a Folio Society edition. I read this book in paperback when it first came out. Well, maybe not when it first came out. I'm not sure if it came out in hardback and then moved to paperback, but it was a long time ago. I have notes on it from the 90s. And um, some of my notes, I have to say, were that I thought that he was trying a little too hard to be uh, literary or to sound, I don't know, to use difficult language. Um, but that's, a, that's a, a minor thing. It was a very interesting book. This is a Folio Society edition. Plain on this side, and on this side, it has all kinds of cool little images. Of course, for the vast majority of Earth, life was not mammals or even animals. It's a solid, heavy, solid book of a reasonable size, fairly big even. And let's look at the spine here. wasn't really fair of me to start in with my with my quibble about this about this book I just felt I just I just suddenly I just remembered yeah there were times I put in the note going why did he say it that way that's a hard way to say it instead of saying it in an easy way this book this edition of this book is just packed with images so he's and, and the paper itself is this sort of very very white smooth paper and just lots and lots of images. So these are the uh, stromatolites in Australia. And these are these are just, it's not that this is alive, but this is built up, life built up upon life, built up upon life, built up upon life until they rep, you know, look like these big stones here. Um, I'm not saying that they're not alive, but just only one layer of it. It's not like the entire thing. I don't know if they're still alive, probably. I don't remember. Anyway, if we flip through here, oh, that was fossilized dinosaur skin. Oh, I went past it too quickly. Anyway, if we flip through here, you'll see the number of, of images. It's just absolutely packed with images. It could be a coffee table book. You know, it's uh, it's really fascinating just, just to flip through it and look through the images. I can tell you the edition that I had when I first got this book was not anywhere nearly as lavish as this. Um, so even if you're not reading it, just to flip through and look at all the life and, and read the, you know, read the, the captions, you are going to get something out of it. But the book itself was very interesting as well. I, I really liked it, excepting the one or two times when I thought that he was just trying to be. Why don't I stop talking about that? The point is, it was a pretty good book, and then I really did like it, and found it interesting. This edition is just so great. Little bitty fossil. Yeah. So, yeah. So again, it, it follows from, from the very, very beginnings of life on earth, all the way to the many different kinds of life that we have today. And uh, let's see, this one's probably about 300 pages. 350 pages in this edition. Hey, that looks like humans, human ancestors and relatives. So nice to see a friend. All right, that's the Folio Society edition of Life by Richard Forty.